just wanted to come on here and show you all this bowl I got from 1617 that I will be testing with a wood wick from the wooden wick company um, I will let y'all know how that works out this is the largest one I believe the largest wick um, the X wick so I'll put it on the screen because I don't know the name of it and I'm testing fireside marshmallow or fire roasted marshmallow something like that and I use glitter that is glow in the dark so let me see if y'all can see it y'all see that I'm excited <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love glitter. So yeah, it glows in the dark. We'll see what it looks like when it's melted. But anyways, I'll come back with an update um, for y'all to let y'all know. I'm hoping that this one, this one wick will work. But typically, um, you are supposed to use about four wicks in this bowl. So hopefully one wick works. If it does... Alright y'all, so I just lit um this large x wick in the white bowl from 1617 as you can see the flame is pretty large so i'm hoping that it will calm down a little bit usually um what i've noticed with these is once the wax starts to melt a little bit and it starts to absorb in the wick it'll the flame will calm down so we'll see if this flame calms down or if this wick is too large and maybe we would have to use two smaller wicks so anyways i will come back in about an hour or so to let y'all know uh how this wick is working out all right so it's a few minutes later and um we still have quite a large flame so uh this wick is probably too large for this bowl however if you are into fire scrying, um, using fire as a way to meditate or do divination, this may be something that you're interested in. You would, of course, have to be careful. Like right now, I have this in an area where there's nothing that the flame can um, catch, you know, on fire. It might look like there's things on here that, but it's not close enough. And then, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's also the sound. Let me be quiet so I can see if y'all can hear it. So, I don't know if y'all can hear that because my son has a TV on. But this would be something you can meditate to or do fire scrying, but you would have to be really, 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 really careful. Otherwise, this wick is way too large. <laughs> um... So what I would do with this is I would just use four regular wicks or four regular CDN three or fours, or um, I would try one of the smaller X wicks. Maybe one of the smaller X wicks or two of the extra, extra small <laughs> X wicks. Anyway, I'll come back. All right, so I let the fire out. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I let the fire out. I'm going to try to trim this down lower, like extremely low, and see if that helps with the... This is where it's at right now. I'm going to trim it down extremely low to see if that helps with the uh, flames. All right, y'all. So I trimmed it down maybe even too low to where it's like barely over the wax. So I'm gonna relight it to see what happens. All right, so I relit it. <laughs> uh, pro it looks like I cut it down a little too low so it hasn't gotten onto the four sides yet. It's just the middle part. All right, so I kind of tilted the jar or the bowl to the sides to kind of help it get onto all four sides so you can see some of the wax kind of spilled out of the center. But anyways, 
this is a little bit more manageable still probably too large <laughs> but a little bit more manageable i don't know if i would trust my customers to trim it down low enough because it's kind of hard to determine and i don't know if i want them to have to do so much work like light it if it's too large blow it out trim it some more i don't know i have to think about it all right y'all it's been a few minutes so the flame has calmed down significantly so now less so i was saying like as the wax starts to melt and the wax pool gets larger the wick absorbs more of the wax the flame starts to calm down but initially it's always like wild crazy raging <laughs> um so anyway i feel this is reasonable uh this is a reasonable size right here as far as the flame because the, the flame is expected to be larger with this x type of wick because it's like almost kind of like you have like four wicks it's really two wicks um so like four small wicks or two large wicks is kind of what it's like. So anyways, I'm going to let this go for about an hour. Then I'm going to go uh, blow it out so I can go get lunch. And then I'll come back and let y'all know. All right, y'all. So um, I wanted to take a video earlier to show y'all the melt pool. But there was somebody that dropped a cigarette or put out a cigarette that wasn't fully like all the way out outside of my apartments and they caught like the grass and the leaves on fire so I had to quickly blow out my candle because they were saying that we all had to leave so anyways after about a couple of hours the melt pool was pretty much where you see it right now also as you can see the um size of the flame has gone down to a reasonable <laughs> size um so anyways i'm going to leave this lit for like two or three more hours to see if we can get a full melt pool or not and then i will probably once all the wax is gone i'll probably do this again with the same combination except for i'm going to use two of the smallest wooden wicks the two of the smallest x wicks to see which combo is better because i posted a picture of this on social media and people already want it <laughs> but i'm still not comfortable with customers actually knowing how to trim it properly and knowing that the flame is going to be large for a few minutes and then it's going to calm down and then it's going to be a normal size flame so anyways, I will come back. This is um, like the third time I lit this candle. So I'll come back after about two or three hours to see where we are with the melt pool. Toodles. We'll see if we can get a full melt pool on this one or not. Um, I don't know if I want to keep testing because that requires a lot of wax and all of that for this bowl. So I may just do regular wicks. I'm not sure. If I don't get a full melt pool, um, I may try two smaller X wicks or I just may do the four to five regular wicks and call it a day <laughs> so I don't have to keep uh, using materials. But anyways, I really think people like the look of the X wick. When I posted a picture of this, um, people were already saying that they wanted to get it, but I had to let them know I am in the process of a testing now, process of testing now. So I really would like for this particular wig to work because I think that is part of the appeal of people wanting to buy this particular candle when I posted it. So anyways, see y'all when I have more information. Bye. All right, y'all. So I'm back with another update on the wood wick, um, the largest X wood wick. And please note that I did not trim the wick this time before I lit the candle. I usually will trim it every time. So the flame is really large because of that. Had I trimmed it, I wish y'all could see it. Had I trimmed the wick before I lit the candle, it would be a smaller flame. But 
I actually like large flames. <laughs> I like to fire scry. Like th that's a good way to man uh, meditate is to just stare into flames. However, I would suggest that people trim the wick each time before they use it so the flame isn't so large because you have to be careful. You basically have to treat this like a fire pit almost and make sure it's not near anything that is flammable, which that plastic on that candle is probably too close now that I say that. Um, but you pretty much have to treat it like that if you are not going to trim it low enough to where you don't have this large flame however as you can see we pretty much have a full melt pool so um that is a good thing you will eventually get a full melt pool with this well i did with the combination of oil and wax wick and container um so it, it doesn't happen right away it happens once you get towards the bottom of the candle pretty much Hey y'all, so I'm just showing you all how I use wick uh, cuticle cutters to trim the wick. You can use these or you can use a wick trimmer that's best to cut this type of wick. And uh, my final thoughts are the size that I used is too large for this bowl. So I will try to use the size that is a size down from this one and see how that works out. Thank you for taking the time to watch and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.